So it's been a year since I made my fire back and it's reduced a lot of firewood use and also increased its heat efficiency. However, I noticed a flaw straight from the first time I used it and that's the gaps in my metal plates. The flames were escaping through those gaps. So the first thing I need to do to improve it is get some steel. I have a lot of steel in my backyard, however, that's pegged for another project. So I have to go to my local steel supplier in the pouring rain. One of the reasons why I didn't beef up my first fire back is that I had a sore shoulder and I was already at the cusp of how heavy I could lift. My shoulder's much better since then and I'm ready to really beef this up. First thing I do is get a wire brush and wire brush all the soot, superficial rust off there. Next thing I'm going to do is put more steel plate in between the braces. So I have to grind off all the excess welds because I want it to sit nice and tight. Now I notice that there's a loose plate there. So first thing I have to do is weld that back on. But then I notice some drops of rain. And it's a mad rush to pack all that up. That rain didn't last long and I'm back at it. So the reason why my original welds were terrible is because I was using a very cheap MIG welder that I was given for free. And it only had two settings, one and two. So it didn't really have a lot of control. So I've gone back to using stick welder, the high tensile welding rods. Now, I'm not a professional welder, but I am getting a lot better with a stick welder. And where I used to do long welds on the complete length of a piece of metal I was joining, I've decided to just do stitch welds, otherwise this will be an extremely laborious project. Just get a wire brush. I just get rid of all the flux in my wire brush and I'm not gonna bother to paint it because the paint would just burn off within a couple of fires, probably within the first fire. Even though I am a lot stronger than a year ago, it's still quite heavy. I'm hoping it retains a lot of the heat. And it's a snug fit. All the moisture's evaporating off that new steel. 